How's it going, guys? So, I know in the past that I've said just keeping a regular fish tank, for me personally, always felt like it was kind of like a waste of space because I have this big tank, all this space is being used, and it's just fish. There's no turtles in it. Well, I managed to find some species of fish that I actually really like to keep. Um, they're in here. One of them's right here. And the other one is hiding like it does all the time. I do have some footage of it, which you'll see in a minute. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to all the fish in here and just show you the tank. Alright, so first and foremost, here we have it. It's a standard 55 gallon tank on a stand. As you can see, next to the 75 gallon. Um, but here it is. Got some lids here. Really nice. Because some of the fish I have in here are known to be escape artists. Have a nice light here, which obviously turns on and off. 55 gallon filter. And uh, I actually managed to get this stand and the tank, the light, the filter, and it came with the heater that I'm not using at the moment, all for a really good price. It was a really good deal. And uh, I just didn't have any turtles to put in it. So I actually set it up for a fish called a rope fish. Um, I was really excited to get one. I had a store that had them in stock at that time. I went to go pick one up and they were out of stock, avail unfortunately, when I got there. Um, so then I, I did a bunch of research and then I, I uh, contacted the guy who was supposed to sell me one um, about a month ago, but it didn't work out. He kind of like flaked out on me and uh, that's just how it was. So um, I'm just taking fully, full advantage of this tank here, all fish tank. Under here we got a whole bunch of Pokemon games. Not that you guys would be interested to see that. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the, on the tank here. Like I said, 55 gallon tank. Um, at some point, I would like to kind of, so like the 75 gallon, it's like all naturalistic um, driftwood and plants and stuff like that and rocks. This has like, you know, plastic, plastic. You know what, let me try to get rid of some of these glares here. Okay, that's a little better. Anyway, at some point I would like for this whole entire tank to be decked out with nothing but driftwood and live plants and rocks so it's completely naturalistic we don't have like plastic plant plastic decoration plastic decoration an old used turtle hide basking area um at some point i want to more look like the 75 gallon which i'm going to do another video on that separately so i don't want to show it too much um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys what I have. So right right now, um, it's not too stocked, and that's okay. So here are two of the Bala Sharks, or Bala Sharks, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, there they are. And I actually have an aquarium sleeve right there, and I probably should have done that before the video, because you can see there's a little bit of, a little bit of algae growing on there. But then honestly, guys, some of my favorite fish are these gourami fish. Um, the, the gouramis I have in here, I believe are called like sunrise gouramis. You can see they've got the really cool pattern there. There's another one here. Um, gouramis are really great. I have a few of them in the 75 gallon and they just, they do really good. And then we have a blue gourami in the back there. I just love the gouramis. Um, and then let's see what else we have. We have a, Blackfin shark in the back, you can see blackfin shark. They're actually a, a kind of carp, not an actual shark. Um, for those of you who didn't know, I'm sure some of you did. And then up top here, the very top, we have these fish called hatchet fish, which are the, uh, um, in my opinion, these are the single dumbest looking fish you can find which is exactly why I love them and is why I got them. Hatchet fish, they're just hilarious. So I don't know if you're able to see them. No, you can't. But yeah, hatchet fish, um, there they are. They just sit at the top and they just, they're like paper thin, but they're super wide like that, which is just hilarious. Um, but yeah, so the two species of fish I have in here that, you know, pretty much own the tank and is the reason why I have this setup there's two of them. One of them should come out here pretty soon. It is a Bicher, also known as like a, 
dinosaur eel. Some people call them dinosaur eel, dinosaur eels. Some people pronounce it bicer, bitcher, biker, however you pronounce it. Um, there's a lot of different species and subspecies of them. So I'm not sure exactly what I have. I just have like the standard one. You can get a lot of color variations on these fish. So I just got the regular one. And here he is in the back there. You know what? I'm gonna clean this algae off real quick. You can tell it's been a while since I made a video. All right, there we go. Looks a little better. You can see the spines of the bikes are in the back. I'm trying to do a good job filming the fish. Fish are always harder to film than turtles for some reason. I might be the only one with that problem, but that's just something I found. You have the hatchet fish up here. So I'm moving. There they are. They are like these silliest looking fish. Anyway, the other fish I have in here is super cool and we're not gonna be able to see him because of how shy he is. Um, it is a fire eel, um, freshwater eel. They get to be pretty big. Mine's, he's not too small. He's probably oh, about six inches or so. I'll put some video of him right now. Um, super cool fish. Got him from the same place I got the Bicher. And you can find him in Columbus, Ohio, the store actually. It's called Aquarium Adventure. Um, I highly recommend them. They, not gonna lie, they're a little overpriced. You can get a lot of the fish that they sell, like the garamis and the, the bala sharks. You can get a lot of those more common fish at your local pet store for like a quarter of the price. Now I'm sure there's some reason for that. I am not a, a big fish guy, so I don't know the reason exactly, but that's just my experience. But they do offer some fish species that you're not gonna be able to find easily anywhere else, like the bicher and like the fire eel. So there's always that. Um, there's also, they also have a bunch of different kinds of loaches, which is really cool. Um, I wanna get some loaches for this tank. Once I switch the sand over to a, like a finer grain sand, rather than this black, like it's, it's like a small pebble, but um, I do like it. I think it makes the colors of the fish pop, but I would like to switch over to more naturalistic, naturalistic sand whenever I do, you know, get more wood and plants and stuff like that. So um, that'll be for the future. I mean, the bicer is being really shy today. He always, like, he, he's more of the active one around the tank. But the plants that we have in here are java fern. As you can see, we've got two bigger plants growing up here, starting to get the roots. And then we have smaller, like, clusters of it, which actually came out of the 75 gallon. Um, I've got a bunch of clusters of java fern growing in the 75 gallon, because that thing is just run wild. I can't wait to show you guys the 75 gallon. Um, to the untrained eye, it might look unkept and it might look kind of, I don't know, bad to some people. But to the fish I have in there, and especially for the turtles, it is pristine. It, it honestly looks like I took a chunk out of a, a river system or a lake or something and then brought it in my house. It's really cool. So that will be for the next video. Um, but for now, this is the tank. Like I said before, standard 55 gallon. Nice little stand with it. And I wanna show you guys something really cool. So my sister for Christmas got me these LED lights right here. I'm gonna turn them on and I put them inside here. See the lights here, I'll turn them on. Come on. There we go. I put them in there. It's really cool at night. I actually just sit here in bed and watch, I leave the fish tank light on and I have the, the color change in lights and it's really cool. Anyway, so this is the tank. Um, thank you guys for watching. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point I did convert it over to a, you know, at least to be able to have a turtle in it. I am expecting some turtles here pretty soon and one or two of them at least would be able to be with these fish, at least for right now. Um, but yeah, for right now, it's going to be strictly a fish tank, and I'm excited to see how it uh, evolves over time. And obviously, you guys will be along for that. So this is the starting introduction of the tank. So in a month or two months or three months, I'll be doing another video about it. And, you know, over time, we'll just be seeing the progression of it. So I'm really excited to see where this tank goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you have any questions about the tank, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to you. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty standard. I'm not a fish guy, so like, this is my first attempt of actually having like a fish tank. Um, I wish the eel would have come out so I would have gotten some closer shots of him. But I hope you guys like the footage that I have of the eel. Um, but yeah, this is it. 55 gallon. And I'm sure in the future at some point this tank is going to be like, mwah, decked out fish, plants, logs, everything. At some point it's going to be amazing. So until then, this is what it looks like. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something or were entertained for however long this video is. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.